Hey y'all, so it is finally fall and we have a friend coming over for dinner tonight and I am making my mom's chicken tortellini soup and I wanted to do it along with you. I love soup, my family loves soup, we have it all the time and it's for a couple of reasons. One, it is incredibly filling but it's not super calorically dense. That is not the most important reason, but it is a big reason why we eat so much soup. And then we also love how many leftovers it gives us and how many vegetables we can shove into a soup and you don't even realize it. So today we're gonna be making that soup from scratch and it's gonna be so tasty. Let's do it. Okay, so it is about noon right now. And when I'm making a soup from scratch, this is generally when I'll start thinking about planning out the meal. And that is because we have to make our own chicken stock. So I'm going to grab my chicken. I'm going to put it in a big pot of salted water. And I'm also gonna add some celery, some carrots, and some onion to that mixture. A mixture, is it a mixture? Who's to say? And then that's gonna boil for a good hour and a half to two hours so that the chicken can get done. Uh, and then also so that we have time to cool off the chicken before we start taking the meat off of it. Okay, let's do it. This is the giant pot that I'm gonna use. Oh! <laughs> So I generally pick like three carrots and three pieces of celery and I usually pick the worst looking ones because these are really just to flavor the food and you're not going to be keeping them in, you'll sift them out after the broth is done. So I kind of like to take the ugliest ones. So I just filled up my pot about three quarters of the way full. You want it to be pretty full with water because otherwise you're not going to have enough broth. So we're gonna start with that. I'm also gonna take my salt. I'm gonna do a heavy pour. We're gonna do a heavy pour. A couple of seconds there. And then we're gonna take the carrots and the celery that I just very roughly cut up. Put that in the water. We're gonna put half of the onion in the water. You can split it up a little bit. We'll use the other half of the onion in the actual soup. And then lastly, we just have to put our chicken in. You gotta make sure to take the giblets out, okay? Hello, little chicken. Okay, put that in there. And then you're gonna turn it to medium high heat. Um, when it starts to boil, then you can turn the heat down a little bit. But that can really stay in here for like an hour and a half to two hours. I like to make sure that my chicken is really done, obviously, and it will be. And then make sure you wash your hands. Wait, but before I do that, this is what the giblets look like, and not every chicken has giblets in it. But I'm sure you could do more. Oh, God, that's a the worst angle I've ever been on. I'm sure that you could do more with giblets, but I don't want to. <laughs> They're very nutritious for you, but I just, no, it's too much for me. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like. We're gonna turn on the heat. We will check on this in like an hour and a half, but also make sure it's not boiling too hard. Okay, so I just went to the gym and I turned down the heat on my soup. And you'll see a lot of it has boiled off. This is what we're looking for. So. I'm letting it cool. Now I'm gonna take the chicken out so it can cool. And then probably in about an hour, I will take the meat off of the chicken, which is always super fun. You get to learn anatomy. Anatomy of chicken. Anatomy, anatomy of chicken. You gotta be a little careful with this part. Oh no. My chicken just fell apart. That's okay. The other part I do right now is I take all the leftover veggies and I just throw them away. You could also blend these and then add them back into your stock. I'm not gonna do that today though. Miro loves this part because I always spill. It's also normal for your chicken to give off like some gross like extra stuff. And you can just get rid of that. Don't worry about it. And this is also the part of the video that I should say, you do not have to make your own stock. You could get a rotisserie chicken and use some chicken broth and your tortellini soup is going to be delicious. I just like doing it this way because I like kind of knowing exactly what's going into my stock. I, and I think that it's just like fun to enjoy the process a little bit. It makes me enjoy cooking more and I appreciate the food more. Okay, we're gonna let the chicken rest. It smells delicious. And then when it is cool enough, then I'm gonna take the chicken off the bone. Chef, what's the word for when someone else comes in and cuts your vegetables? Chef A sous chef. No, we're watching the bear. Chef de, mm -hmm. chef de veggies. Chef de veg. And who is the chef de veg? You. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I am running a little behind and naturally still trying to do this. So here's what we did. 
The chicken is cool. I'm gonna debone it right now. Jared. The chef de veg. So graciously chopped our veggies for us. So this is something that I do and I don't know if you really need to, but I noticed that when I put my veggies in raw to the soup, it takes a really long time for them to break down and for them to not be raw. So I like to fry them for a little bit, put some salt and pepper in the pan, maybe a little bit of butter. And then after I've had them in the pan for maybe like five or 10 minutes, then I put them in my broth and then I put my chicken in and then we're gonna add the other goodness. So that is going to be red pepper, that is going to be spinach and the tortellini. So it's gonna be great. It's like a, this is what my mom called a Christmas soup. So it's very festive. It has green and red in it. Okay, let's do this. Wow, this chicken is just falling off the bone. Not that a chicken anatomy is like very similar to a human's, but it is just interesting when you look at all of the muscle that's on here and you get to like, you know, yeah, I don't know. I think from a health standpoint, it's very interesting. <laughs> so this is the breast. This is the chicken breast that we always eat so much of, right? And I am taking the bone out and then I'm just like taking these little pieces and shredding it. You realize just how much chicken you get from an entire chicken. And it's cheaper. And it's way cheaper. Well, it's okay. not that much cheaper. I think that a rotisserie chicken is actually cheaper than this chicken that I got, which is, that is dumb. It's dumb. I have to do all this work. Well, you That's get to do all this. I get it. Exactly. Okay, hasta luego. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Okay, so this is where we're at. Oh, you put a shirt on. Good for you. We've got our chicken. That's the leftover. I didn't do the best job with this one, but that's the chicken that we're gonna be putting in the pot. We've got our red pepper that we're gonna be putting in in like the last three minutes or four minutes of the boiling. This is our stock. And then these are our veggies, our carrots, celery, and onion chopped up. The other thing that we're gonna be adding in is spinach, but then that's it. Very easy. Oh, and the tortellini. Okay, so when you're mirepoix, hmm? you know that word? You know that word? Yeah, it's the, when you, it's the French word for when you add carrots, onion, and celery together. What was it called? Mirepoix. When you feel like it's done, it's been on for like 10 minutes for ours, then I'm just gonna put it right into the broth and bring the broth to a pretty rolling boil, okay? Once that has been on a rolling boil for like 10 minutes, then we can add the chicken, then we can add the tortellini, which only cooks for like four minutes. And then in the final three minutes, we're gonna add the red pepper. And the final two minutes, we're gonna add the spinach. Wild. Okay, it's time. It's been about 10 minutes where my veggies have been boiling. Yeah, like 15 minutes. And now I'm gonna add the chicken. And then I'm going to add the tortellini and then the red pepper. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I was just giving Meryl a little time on camera. Here, we'll do it. On camera. <laughs> Hopefully I got all the bones out. I would love to give Meryl some chicken, but we think that she's allergic to it randomly. <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna add just a little bit of dill and a little bit of Italian seasoning because tasty. If you get fresh herbs and they go bad all the time, I put them in a damp paper towel and then put them in a Ziploc bag and they stay for weeks. It's amazing. And then lastly, we're just gonna put in a bunch of spinach because it's gonna boil right down. So put a ton in, it's good for you. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. And there we have it. Delicious. <laughs> I take pictures of every meal I make. Okay, so I was looking at the footage from the tortellini soup from earlier this week, and I realized that I didn't do any kind of outro, but I wanted to let you know the soup was incredible. It was probably the best I've ever made. And we've been having it every single day for lunch this week, which is exactly how soup is supposed to be. So highly suggest the chicken tortellini soup. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you make it, send me a video or a picture of your soup. I'm excited. Okay, bye.